Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Transfer Stories. Six players lined up yet again, all to do with transfers, possibly coming into the Premier League. Leagues fans are going to be happy, I've got covering two players for you today. A couple from Chelsea as always, you know, there's quite a few, so... Anyway guys, let's get straight down to it. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first player I'm going to kick off with... Is Robert Skullbugs. Sorry for mispronouncing him, I probably have something out across the line. But anyway, he's got interest from Chelsea. He's 26 years old. In the contract, which is always interesting when I read this card of year, purely because if I get to January, they can always talk about leaving on freebie. It's the 30th of June 2022. Position is left back, which I'm pretty sure Chelsea are a bit short sure of with the new philosophy of what Chelsea are going on and all this youngsters coming through and you know what Frank Lampard's doing at Chelsea is a great job. He's got 39 appearances with 10 goals to his name. His other position is a left midfielder, so basically if the left sign he's feeling. He could do that for you. He's played a minimum of 3,041 minutes this season. Now, the, as I said, the end of contract, if we talk about six months, six months, seven months' time, he can talk to Chelsea about leaving on a freebie. Six months, end of your contract, talk about leaving on a freebie. This one could be quite interesting because you know, about the player with the likes of being a left back and what's developing into the English game where we only play throughout the back. I'll talk about where do I think it'll go through at the end of this video. But anyway, first player for Leeds, Ben White. Now, I know a lot of you know that I'm a Brighton fan, but when I do these sorts of videos to make it fair, I say it like I don't support anyone in these videos, same with my petition videos as well. So, as a neutral perspective, obviously he's got interest from Leeds, what a great loan spell he had at Leeds, got Leeds up to the Premier League, you know, with his loan spell. He's 22 years of age. He's in the contract, now this is the interesting bit. It's the 31st of July 2020, only literally a few days left. Position is a centre back. Appearances, he's got 49 appearances with one goal. His other positions are right back at defence midfielder. Playing time this season was 4,364 minutes. Now, I'm gonna. I've seen things about Ben White apparently signing a new contract to Brighton. But, even from a neutral perspective, because of what Ben White's done for leagues and getting them promoted. I don't think Brighton will let him go. I could be wrong, but that's one deal that I'll probably say won't go through yet. Obviously, because the leagues are back in the Premier League as well, it's going to be a bit, you know, hard to reloan him as well. But anyway, leagues are back into the Premier League. You'll be seeing you, me predict your game for next season. Nicolo Saniozo, he... It's got interest from Tottenham. This does look like I don't even think Jose or Jose, whatever you want to call it, is going to add to his squad. I got a funny feeling about this one. As I said, I talk about it going through at the end of this video. Age of 21 years old, end of contract 30th of June 2024, so he's still got a few years left on his contract. With the likes of that, 
Attacking midfielder, 29 appearances with 8 goals to his name. His other positions are a white wing and a centre back. So, picking the position, I'll probably put him on the right. Playing time of 1,846 minutes. Now, as I said, this is a real big move for Tottenham. Obviously, it's called transfer storage for a reason. If I do go for him, I can maybe see one player coming out of Tottenham. I've got a player in mind. But this one, I definitely will be watching to see if there's any process or, you know, development on this story. So, Nicholas Ozo, sorry if I'm mispronouncing, I must probably have somewhere across the line. Apparently he's got interest from Tottenham, which way you can see the grounds flashing behind me as well. Now, back to leagues. Calavaro. Now, I know a lot of you have been asking me to cover this story. I know a lot of you will be happy that I am. He's got interest from leagues. Now, what I know about Caviaro, sorry if I messed up, I might probably have some across the line as well. He's 33 years of age. Obviously, he's a free agent, so at least we'll get him on a free. But can I actually see Caviaro come to the Premier League with the lights of. You know, time of his career, the peak of his career, and everything else that goes with that. You know, with the likes of um, 500 and 556, yeah, 56, with 341 goals. Now, that stat. I'm reading that style for you now because all that time is out of the UK. Is it a bit too late for him to switch it up? No disrespect to Caviaro, I do think just about. But you can never say never. As I said, I'll talk to you about whether I think it goes through or not at the end of this video. He's got 48 appearances and 48 goals for Ukraine. So, you know, it's don't be too bad either, but could we see him in the league shirt? Yeah, you're gonna have to wait and see at the end of this video to see what I think. Adrius Gay, an ex Everton player, has got interest from Manchester United. Now, reading up on his stacks, I'll tell you some of his stacks in literally just a minute. I think he could be a player that many are looking out for. Bearing in mind you've got Matt coming to the end of his career at United. Mattage is nearly there. You know, there's a few midfielders that are coming to the end of their career. Man United apparently paid interest in this one. 30 years of age. End of contract. 30th of June. 23. So, just literally a year after the next World Cup here. Position is a defensive midfielder, so basically a matches position for United. He's got 31 appearances with one goal to his name. Other positions are centre mid, so Paul Pogba, Mata, all them kind of players. He's got, you know, two. He's got him positions covered basically. With 2,425 playing minutes this season. Being an ex Everton, now I know he's 30 years of age, but can you actually see him getting into the United team? Bearing in mind they've got the likes of Scott Metonymy coming through and has played quite a few first times this season. Pereira, this one, if it does go through, I just got to go straight into the first team for me. There's no point wasting money. For the likes of a player, if he's not going to go straight into the first team, this one could be an interesting one. And as I said, I talked to you right at the end of the video about whether I think it goes through or not. But I've just got one more player to cover, and then we get straight down to that bit. Davy Silva. Now, Davy Silva is out of contract 
out of Manchester City. So he will be a free agent, you know, at the end of the season. Obviously, the season's took a bit because of the pandemic, but 34 years of age, position as an attacking midfielder, so someone that is looking for an attacking midfielder. He's apparently got interest from Valencia as well. 37 appearances with six goals to his name. The lights of playing time for 2,502 minutes. His other positions are a left midfielder, a centre midfielder. He's got 125 appearances for Spain with 37 goals to his name. And he's also played for Spain under 16s, under 17s, under 19s, under 20s and under 21s. So whoever does go in for David Silva is getting an experienced player, play that way. But two free agents I've covered on this video. For the first time ever, I think, I've covered free agents on my channel. So as always, you know, <laughs> something new coming on my channel. But anyway, let's get through. Do I think they're going to go through? Or do I just think there's a bit of a story to them? Um, let's go do that now. Starting off with Robin Gosberg. Yeah, again. Sorry if I mispronounce your name. Interest from Chelsea. Now, looking at his position, left back. I've got a funny feeling this one might just about go through. I'm more probably 60 40 about that going through. So I'll go yes, just about. Ben White, do I see it going through? Now, now this is an interesting one because it's the 31st of this month. If he does not sign a new contract by the 31st, he can leave on a freebie. But the, some of the things I've read on Ben White is that he is signing a new contract for, for Brighton. Now this what all goes on. Does he sign a new contract? I think Ben White will sign a new contract because of what Graham Potter said about him and give him a good chance in the first team. So I'll go no for that one. But don't Ruled out that Ben White could end up in leagues in the January transfer window. Nikolo Sokolic. Sorry if I mispronounced name. Must probably have somewhere across the line. Interest from Tottenham. 21 years of age. Tacking midfielder. Man. Now, this is... I'm not 100% definitely that this will go through more probably no because Tottenham have also ruled out that he's a top target so I'll go no for that one but yet again don't forget about the January transfer window coming up there'll be more episodes of this and also who's just signed for your for the clubs Cofalio leagues 33, centre forward, could I see him go to Leeds? Now there's no disrespect for Leeds for me, but I just can't see him end up in, in the Premier League. He's 33 years of age. I mean, I love to see him in the Premier League. I mean, even from just a neutral football fan perspective, I love to see him in the Premier League, but can I see him going to leagues? I, I really, I'm more. If he goes to leagues, how's he going to get in with the likes of Hernandez, Bamford, and all that leagues? I just can't see him getting through to the leagues squad. I mean, I know league squad obviously by new players because they're coming into the Premier League. But really Carvalho or will they go younger? I'm going to go younger on a striker. I, w I will think Leagues bring a striker in but I don't think it will be him. I could be wrong on all of these but you never know. 
I'll be uh, less uh, sorry for my spouse and much probably at some more person. Interest from United, 30 years old. End of contract, 30th of June 2023. Possession, defence, now this, I think this will go through and that's only because of Matic and Matter. I think Matter is also out of contract of United this season. I don't think they're giving them a new one. So I think yes for that one. David Silva and Valencia. I'll just go yes because he wants to be back in Spain. Obviously if he wants to retire back in Spain. That's where he probably end up. So I'll go yes for that one. But anyway guys. This one go bring this video to an end guys. You know what to do. Because a big fat fun. Don't you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for them.